transfection is the uptake of nucleic acids that is DNA or RNA by animal cells. It refers to the introduction of genes into a cell for manipulating the gene expression, production of a desired recombinant protein, gene function studies, mapping, etc. It helps in modifying the cells at genetic level. This is one of the highly useful applications of animal cell culture. Various methods used for transfection enable the introduction of genes to subcellular regions by microscopically controlled devices. In this process, the DNA sequence is inserted inside a cell by any of the viral or non-viral methods. The DNA which is deliberately inserted is usually a foreign gene coding a recombinant protein to be produced by the target cell. The transgene does not enter inside all the cells in the sample. In order to select the transfected cell, a marker gene is also inserted along with the gene of interest. The cells which express the marker gene are selected as transfected cells. A marker gene usually provides resistance to toxin or an antibiotic which clearly demarcates the transfected cell from others. The DNA which has crossed the cell membrane barrier will be transported into the nucleus and will be expressed if it carries a suitable promoter. In some cases, expression ceases after 4 to 5 days because the episomal DNA is degraded by the cell. Many cells possess the ability to integrate the episomal DNA into the genome. The cells which integrate the foreign DNA in the genome starts expressing it. These cells are selected and propagated. Transfected nucleic acids can be stably expressed or transiently expressed. The cells can be stably or transiently transfected depending on the nature of nucleic acid. The transfected cells can be detected by the presence of selectable markers. The inserted DNA or RNA integrates into the host genome in case of stably transfected cells. The foreign gene is expressed even after the cell division. Around 1 in 10 to the power 4 cells get transfected stably. In some cases, the transfection is transient which means the foreign gene is expressed for limited period of time. The transiently transfected cells do not pass the transgene to their progeny. The transgene may be lost due to environmental factors and cell division cycles. Loss of expression may also be due to the degradation of DNA by nucleases. Transiently expressed transgene can be detected in 1 to 7 days. After a week, no transgene product is normally detected. Supercoiled plasmid DNA is most suitable for transient transfection. Two separate nucleic acid molecules can also be transfected in the cell at the same time. This is known as co-transfection. Transfection of RNA is also carried out for studying the gene function. The transfected RNA expresses itself in the cytosol within a few minutes after transfection. The transfection methods can be categorized into three groups, viral or biological methods, chemical methods and physical methods. Viral gene transfer methods. Viruses are used as an effective tool for carrying the gene of interest and transferring it into the cell. Viral gene transfer methods are also known as biological methods. Transfer of genes by viruses can be done in a limited range of cells. Viruses are host specific. They can infect only those cells which bear the receptors capable of binding the viral particle. Attachment of virus to the cell is followed by insertion of viral genome inside the target cell. The foreign gene may get integrated with the target cell genome and eventually expressed. Virus mediated gene transfer involves following stages. 
generation of recombinant virus containing transgene, amplification of viral particles, purification of viral particles, infection of specific cell types, integration of transgene into the host genome. The viral genes which are not vital for viral survival are removed and the gene of interest is inserted at this position. In certain cases, two genes can be inserted in the double expression cassette of viral transfer vector. This process is time consuming, costly and laborious. It also demands high level of biosafety requirements. Adenoviruses, retroviruses, adeno associated viruses, herpes simplex virus and vaccinia viruses are commonly used for gene transfer. Adenoviruses are commonly used to transfect dividing and non-dividing cells. It can carry gene length of 7 to 8 kb and produces 10 raised to power 10 to 10 raised to power 11 viral particles per ml. It allows only transient expression of the transgene. Therefore, they are poor gene therapy vectors. Retrovirus are good gene therapy vectors because they usually integrate their genome to the host genome. This enables stable transfection of gene of interest. Adeno associated viruses can carry small inserts of around 4.9 kb. They are weakly immunogenic which favors their use in gene therapy. Herpes and vaccinia viruses are also used for gene transfer. They have a great capacity of carrying 50 kb transgene. Physical methods of gene delivery. Physical methods allow gene delivery directly inside the nucleus and cytoplasm. There are numerous methods such as electroporation, microinjection, gene gun or biolistic gene transfer, sonoporation and optoporation. Electroporation. This is a physical method of transfection in which the cells are subjected to electric impulse which creates pores in the cell walls. The cells take up the DNA through these pores. This is an easy, rapid and less expensive method. It allows the DNA uptake by large number of cells in a small period of time. This can be employed for mammalian as well as bacterial cells. A disadvantage of this method is the damage to cell membrane due to high voltage. The repair mechanism in the cells is not sufficient enough which leads to the death of the cells. This method requires larger number of cells than the other methods. The cells and the DNA molecules are suspended in a medium which can conduct electricity. An electric impulse is provided in the medium for a few microseconds. The electric impulse creates a potential difference across the membrane. This leads to temporary pore formation by disturbing the lipid membrane. These pores allow the movement of charged molecules such as negatively charged DNA inside the cell. This method enables the insertion of large DNA fragments. The reagents used in this method do not have any cytotoxic effect. Efficiency is high when the cell lines are used but low when primary cell cultures are used. High voltage impulses may also damage the primary cells. The strength of the electric impulse and duration of exposure is different for different types of cells. Microinjection. This method is mainly used to transfer DNA or RNA for generating transgenic organisms. This involves introducing gene of interest in a single cell such as oocyte or a stem cell. A very fine pipette is inserted inside the selected cell using a micro manipulator under a low power stereoscopic dissecting microscope. The gene of interest is transported directly inside the cytoplasm or nucleus. It is a very specific and accurate method which involves high technical skill. Microinjection is a specific but tedious method 
which enables the handling of very few cells. It is a time consuming and expensive process. The female mice are induced to super ovulate by treatment with hormones. They are mated with fertile males. Large number of fertilized ova are collected. The transgene construct is prepared in a buffer solution and is injected into the male pronuclei of fertilized egg. Usually, 2 picoliter of DNA solution is inserted in the pronucleus. The microinjected embryos are cultured in vitro till the morula or blastula stage. The female mice are treated with hormones for preparing them to develop the embryo. Eventually, the surviving embryos are transferred into the uterus of the above prepared surrogate mother. Embryo develops into full normal mice. Usually, 3 to 6 percent of the progeny developed by microinjection are transgenic. The progeny developed from the fertilized ova which has integrated the transgene into its genome are the transgenic progeny. The technique has been tried with fish, sheep and pigs also. The transgenic animals thus develop contain the gene of interest in the germ cells also which is further passed on to the progeny. The integration of foreign DNA occurs at random sites. The number of copies integrating may be different in different embryos ranging from 1 to several hundred. The site at which the gene integrates also differs in different cells. The transgene integration occurs early in the embryo development stage after microinjection. This sometimes leads to integration only in a small number of cells. The animal thus developed is a chimeric progeny. Repeated breeding of chimeric animal may lead to pure transgenic animals, gene gun or biolistic gene transfer. This method was originally devised in 1963 for gene transfer in plants and now it is also applied for animal cells. It is used for in vitro as well as in vivo transfer of DNA inside the cell. DNA coated gold or tungsten particles are bombarded into the cell. The particles are accelerated by developing high voltage or pressurizing by gas. This technique enables transfection of a variety of macromolecules such as nucleic acids and proteins. It permits the entry of large size DNA and more than one gene sequence in the target cells. This is a fast and simple technique which can deliver nucleic acid to dividing and non-dividing cells. Mortality rate is high in this technique, therefore large number of target cells are required. Sonoporation Sonoporation makes use of high frequency sound waves for facilitating translocation of nucleic acids. Application of sound waves leads to the formation of cavitation bubbles. The bubbles near the cell membrane cause perturbations in it. These bubbles create spores in the cell membrane which induces transient permeabilization. This leads to the movement of DNA or RNA inside the cell. Sonoporation is mediated by passive diffusion. It is also used for in vivo gene therapy procedures. The efficiency of the process depends on the intensity and frequency of the ultrasound waves. The major advantage of this technique is that it is a non-invasive procedure and can transfer gene of interest to internal organs without any surgical procedure. Diagnostic ultrasound can be used for visualizing the cellular behavior while transfecting the cells by sonoporation. Optoporation Laser can also be used as a physical force to permeabilize the cell membrane. It is also known as laser mediated transfection or phototransfection. This technique was first described in 1984 by Suka Koshi et al. The pores developed in the cell facilitate the entry of gene inside it. 
This is a non-invasive procedure. It is also investigated for in vivo gene transfer in some selected tissues. Chemical methods. Chemical methods create an environment which enables DNA attachment to the cells. Cell membrane is the biggest hurdle in the uptake of DNA by the cells. Carrier molecules are used to overcome this barrier. They translocate the DNA into the interior of the cell. The carrier molecule does not react with the nucleic acid or any other cellular component. The negatively charged nucleic acid interacts with positively charged carrier molecules. Some of the chemical methods used for transfection are DEAE that is diethyl amino ethyl dextrin method, calcium phosphate transfection method, lipid mediated transfection method and magnetofection. Diethyl amino ethyl dextran method. Bahari and Pagano verified this method in 1965. DEAE is a water soluble polycationic derivative of dextran. DNA is mixed with DEAE in transfection solution which leads to the formation of a complex. This complex articulates with negatively charged cell membrane residues. This induces endocytosis and the complex is taken inside. This is a convenient and less expensive method. The transfection efficiency may be low by this method. It is difficult to generate stable lines by this method. Calcium phosphate transfection method. This method was devised by Graham and Van der Ebb in 1973. The DNA of interest is dissolved in phosphate buffer. Calcium chloride is added to this solution which leads to the formation of calcium phosphate and DNA co-precipitates. This preparation is mixed with the cells which are to be transfected. The precipitates are taken up by the cells by endocytosis. The foreign DNA integrates into the host genome. This is an easy method for the transfection of large number of cells. It is also a cost effective method. The transfected cells obtained by this method give rise to stable cell lines. This enables long term gene expression studies. The process may exert toxic effects on primary cell cultures. The efficiency of the process is sensitive to change in pH, temperature and salt concentrations. The method is applied for transfecting large number of cells, lipid mediated transfection method. The delivery of DNA inside the cells mediated by liposomes is known as lipofection. This is a commonly used and efficient method for gene delivery. Liposomes are small vesicles prepared by lipid membranes. Liposomes can be prepared by using cationic lipids conjugated with the polymers. The antibodies or ligands may also be attached for targeting the delivery which enhances the efficiency of the process. The cationic liposomes bind and fuse with the cells efficiently. The fusion of liposome with the cells is followed by the delivery of DNA inside the cells which results in transfection. DNA of varying sizes can be delivered by this method. Some primary cell lines and suspension cells exhibit lower efficiency. This technique has high applicability. It is a method of choice for in vitro as well as in vivo transfer of genes inside the cell. Liposomes are used as targeted drug delivery vehicles. It also finds application in gene therapy. The gene of interest is packaged inside the liposomes and the antibodies attached on the liposome vesicles bind to the target organ or tissue cells only. The liposome fuses with the target cells and releases the gene of interest. Targeted drug delivery and gene delivery has been demonstrated in live animals by this process. Packaging of nucleic acid inside the lipid envelope is now replaced by lipid nucleic acid complexes. The condensed nucleic acid 
cationic lipid reagent complexes are formed by electrostatic interactions between the negatively charged nucleic acids and positively charged head group of the synthetic lipid reagent. Magnetofection Magnetofection is a new method of gene transfer. This process makes use of magnetic field for driving the movement of nucleic acid inside the cell. Nucleic acids are associated with cationic magnetic nanoparticles. Magnetic nanoparticles are made up of biodegradable iron oxide coated with cationic molecules. Coupling magnetic nanoparticles to the gene vectors greatly enhances the uptake of these vectors. They are then transported and concentrated under the influence of magnetic field. Magnetic force accumulates the entire vector dose near the target cells. Cells take up the genetic material by endocytosis or phenocytosis. This method does not cause any harm to the cells. The percentage of transfected cells by this method is very high in comparison to other methods. Some new methods have developed other than the routine methods used largely for gene transfer into the cells such as cell squeezing, impale faction and hydrodynamic delivery. Transfection by cell squeezing. Cell squeezing proposed by Armand Chere in 2012 is a method of delivering molecules into the cells by gentle squeezing of cell membrane. The cells get deformed when passed through a narrow channel again and again. The target cells are passed back and forth repeatedly which leads to the formation of transient holes in the cell membrane due to shear stress. The transfer of gene takes place by these pores. Impelfection Impelfection is a gene transfer method using nanomaterials. Nanofibers or nanotubes are synthesized and placed on a chip. These needle-like projections are pressed against the tissue. The cells get impaled by the nanostructures and the gene is transferred. Hydroporation Hydrodynamic gene transfer or hydroporation is usually done for animals like mice and rats. This involves injection of large volume of plasmid DNA solution in the tailbone. The increased hydrodynamic pressure drives the solution to liver and kidney. This leads to the development of pores in the epithelium of the liver cells. This is hydroporation. The pores facilitate the entry of fluid inside the cells resulting in gene transfer. Conclusion all these methods of transfection display varying efficiency. The method adopted depends on the cell type and the application involved. The continuous advancements in the techniques has enabled the development of new therapeutic procedures and unraveling the hidden life process details. Mm -hmm.